F-16 is a 50-year-old aircraft whose basic plan form, architecture hasn't changed a whit even as bells and whistles have been added periodically to upgrade the aircraft. It is as comfortable as your old pajamas. And by which reckoning, perhaps, the AF can call back the old Hunter aircraft, which was a wonderful easy aircraft to fly and maintain. Even more farcical is the AF griping about endurance, one hour for the Tedgers versus three hours for Gripen and six hours for F-16. Here, the AF is borrowing from the Indian Navy's rejection of the naval LCA. But the Tedgers wing area, storing fuel, is larger at 38.4 square meters compared to 30 square meters for Gripen. So, how to explain the touted figures? Easy, compare apples and oranges. What is quoted for Gripen is its ferry range, for Tejas the fully mission-loaded operational range at 0.7 max speeds. Is this fair? Further, if aerial refuelers are used, the LCA range can be increased manifold, just as Gripen's can be an f 16 s This was proven when the Tejas flew to Bahrain for the 2016 air show with one refueling stop. Even more ridiculous are the purported concerns about the Tejas' lifespan. 20 years versus 40 years for the Gripen slash F-16. The fact is that the normal life of planes is 25 to 30 years, or 3,000 flying hours. The Tejas has been designed for four times this span at 12,000 hours. At 3,000 Doppel hours is when the airframe of the LCA will have to undergo strenuous tests to ensure there is no metal fatigue. But in 30 years, manned combat aircraft will be fully extinct. They actually already are, as I have repeatedly pointed out. So whether the Tejas lasts 12,000 hours is hardly relevant, no more in any case than whether the F-16 will be mission ready in its 100th year with the F. One fervently hopes the Nahandra Modi regime has enough sense to not buy the F-16 museum piece, and Doval to see that the Tejas is not being sidelined just so the purchase of the Gripen goes through. If the F wants more combat aircraft quickly, Farm out the production of the Tejas to the private sector, which I have been suggesting for many years now. With two aircraft production lines at Halland 2, 3, or even four more lines with one each for Tata, L&T, Mohindra, and Reliance Aerospace, throw in the Adonis, if Modi is determined on it, with each rolling out 18 LCAs per year, the AF will have a large force of constantly improved and upgraded Tedger's LCAs in less time than it will take to get the game up with Gripen slash F-16. It will also once and for all shut down all excuses for looking abroad for single-engine fighters. The comparable cost, clean configuration, with respect to weapons, etc., Tedger's for $25 million, Gripen $50 million and the rocking chair ready F-16 at $100 million. Where's the competition? But the military services have realized that they can meet their craving for imported hardware by simply riding on Modi's ill-conceived make in India policy, which makes nonsense of it. Stop this procurement nonsense, Madam Defense Minister Nirmal Asait Araman. And as first order of business, instruct Vayu Bhavan to immediately terminate the vilification campaign against the Tejas.